Okay, a few days ago I made a couple of videos showing how to convert SDLTM and SDLTB files to formats that can be used in non-SDL tools. SDLTM files, which are translation memories used by SDL Trailer Studio, were converted to the standard TMX format using a script made by Thomas Van Nellen. SDLTB files, which are term bases created by SDL Multiterm, were converted to the Excel format using an open exchange application called Glossary Converter. Now I will show you an alternative way to do this using a single program called WF Converter. It's available for free at wordfast.net and I'll include a link in the description field below. The program is written by Jean-Philippe Audin and it is an extension of an existing program, WF2TMX, which, as the name implies, could be used to convert WordFast translation memories into TMX files and vice versa. So now the new program can also convert SDLTM and SDLTB files. There are two advantages compared to the previous solutions. First of all, it's very fast, especially with large files. And secondly, it can be used with SDLTB files even if you don't have multi-term installed on your computer. Now, let's see how the program works in practice. So here I have uh, downloaded the program wfconverter.exe and here I have the same three sample files that I took from the SDL Trader Studio demo. And the ones that I'm interested in are the SDLTM and SDLTB. So I'll start the converter. And if I look here under About, I can see the name is Multiformat Converter and it can convert uh, from WordFast to TMX and vice versa. That was the original function. And now, now the new functions are conversions from SDLTM to TMX and SDLTB to CSV. And there's also the name of the author Jean-Philippe Audon. So let's start with the SDLTM. I will select it here and I will select SDLTM as the file type and this is my file here. Open and if I press the start button, here is what will happen. I will get an error message telling me that there is a DLL dynamic library which is missing. So if I click on the link, so I will be taken to the SQLite site. And SQLite is the program used by SDL for its uh, translation memories. So I will go down to uh, this part here, pre-compiled binaries for Windows, and the file that I'm interested in is the one with the name that starts with uh, SQL DLL. So I've downloaded that file, it's here, and uh, from that zip file that I downloaded, I will extract the DLL file here, and I will put it in the same folder as uh, WF Converter, like this. Okay? And now I should be able to launch the conversion. Okay, so now I have my TMX. And now I will show you another conversion taking a large uh, TM with about uh, 70,000 entries. And uh, that TM took about four hours to convert with uh, the previous uh, script. So now let's uh, convert it with the new converter. I will select it, it's uh, here. and I will launch the conversion. So now the conversion has started and uh, it's uh, uh, very fast, it only takes uh, a few seconds. And now the conversion is uh, ready. So now let's uh, move to the second conversion type. So the, I will select the SDLTB file. So here, file type SDLTB and my file is here and open and start. So here I have my converted uh, CSV and one important thing to note is that even if uh, there is an Excel icon, don't double click it to open it otherwise you will get this. 
So everything is in one column and it's not what uh, we want. So I will close it and instead I will open it via file and open and I will select the CSV open and I will accept delimited next and tab is okay for the delimiter and for the format I will select all fields and uh, select uh, text instead of general and finish. And here is uh, what I get. So all languages ne neatly in a separate column. And now I can manipulate it and uh, do whatever I want depending on the tool in which I intend to use this term base. So that was how to convert SDLTM and SDLTB files using the new converter. Now in the next video I will show you how to translate the third file type from SDL, SDL XLIF, using MemoQ. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.